can't think that you're going to come in and fucking hit a home run the first time you swing a bat, right? You're not going to get rich overnight. Can you? Yeah. But are you? Probably not. It's going to take a lot of grinding. It's going to take a lot of, a lot of journey. All right, we are live in the house today. Um, I wanted to bring you guys on here because I think that, you know, when when people start and they see somebody like me, Danelle, Sean, right, up on stage driving Teslas, doing this, doing that, I think, I think immediately in your mind you're just like, oh, these people are overnight successes. But that's so far from fucking true. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous how far from true that is. And I think, I think you have to get your mind right to get your grind right. You can't think that you're going to come in and fucking hit a home run the first time you swing a bat, right? You're not going to get rich overnight. Can you? Yeah. But are you? Probably not. It's going to take a lot of grinding. It's going to take a lot of, a lot of journey. Okay. Cause that's what this is. This is a fucking journey. This is, this is something that you have to continue to put in. But I remember it's like, when people see me up on stage or they see me going through something or or whatever some of some some of the members in here have been a part of that journey they've seen the growth they've seen they've seen it right because they've been a part of it and they're they're on their own journey they're on their own path right simon's at 30 something thousand a month freaking uh Bree Mashad, same thing freaking jonathan davis 45000 a month right and so it, paul myers i i can go on forever Demetrius space right i can just go on forever um but they're on their own journey right? And they, they weren't an overnight success either. And I think people need to get out of that mentality yep. that overnight success are overnight success is what's going to happen for them. Cause it's not, it's not going to fucking happen. I remember, you know, my journey really started like 10 years ago, me and Danelle been together for 10 years. Right. And I remember when I met her, she was going for going through a divorce yep. and so was I. And I remember like, her going through that divorce and her just wanting to give up. Her going, oh my God, this is so hard. Her ex-husband was a piece of shit. He like took everything, yeah. every household furniture, barely gave her a bag of clothes or anything, right? Like he just like was a piece of shit and made her want to give up. You know what I mean? So she wanted to give up. And I remember her in that state. I see, you guys all see her in the state that she's in now. Yeah. You guys see the way that she shines, she inspires, she drives, she creates new possibilities every fucking day. And I love that, Danelle. But I watched that Danelle build herself up. I watched that Danelle put in the work. Yeah. And that's what it takes, right? And same thing for me. I was going through divorce at the same time. I remember sitting out at a freaking hotel because I didn't have a house. But I was at a hotel and there was a huge balcony. And I seriously contemplated at that time jumping off that fucking balcony. You know what I mean? Because like I was like down and out. I was like, what the fuck am I doing in my life? Like, why the fuck am I here, Right. And to go from that guy to the guy you see on stage now, the guy that you see that's super confident, the guy that that brings value to this world yep. was a fucking journey. You yep. got to understand it was a journey. So if, you, if you're expecting just shit to happen for you yep. and not go through that journey, not go through that shit sandwich, then you got a fucking surprise coming for you. Yep. A lot of heartache along the way. A lot of hardship. A lot of like things that you go through that like you said, like you don't think you're going to make it out the other side. I remember back similar timeline, I guess like eight years ago thinking that I had like completely fucked up my life working at a gas station, basically like dropped out of college. I'm working at a gas station. I had always thought I was going to be this awesome person. And then I'm like, man, what the fuck did you do? And like, how are you ever going to get out of this? And there was like probably like a few months worth of time where I'm working night shifts, pumping gas, thinking like, man, you, you like you fucked it up royally. And there's no, <laughs> and there's no, and there's no coming back from that. But like you said, I think it's like, it's a journey of like self-discovery. Mm -hmm. like you have to really commit to yourself, like realize the maybe the mistakes that you've made and what you're going to do to correct that moving forward. And you have to take, take yourself seriously and like really take action on it every single day to get yourself into the mindset where you know that you can keep pushing forward and there's actually going to be light, like on the other side of that tunnel. But I think it's like everybody goes through that. Yeah. Like even you from your, you know, that from where you were then to where you are now, like so much self-doubt probably for you. I'm not speaking for you, but for me, self-doubt. Yep. I'm not good enough for this. Yep. I don't actually know all the stuff that I know. Like I'm not worthy of all of this stuff, like all of that type of stuff. And it takes a lot of work to one, break that mentality, but then two, actually putting in the work 
to move forward and actually like build the agency and build the stuff and build the skills that you need and all that type of stuff. Yeah. It's like a lot of work. Well, I, I remember, I remember very distinctly when I met Danelle because I, I still in the moving company, still running the moving company. Right. And you know, like I said, I wanted to, I wanted to commit suicide. Let's just keep it real. That's what it was. Like I was like ready to jump off a fucking balcony. I was unhappy with everything in my life besides her. Cause I just met her yeah. and you know, it's in meeting her and seeing that light and seeing a new path that got me to get out of moving fucking boxing boxes for a living. Right. Yeah. Like I grinded in that company. My whole life was that company. Um, and I just got, I got tired of, I got tired of the wife I had. I got tired of the life I had. Right. I wasn't living life on my own terms. And like, I was just tired of, of everything The I, I brought a business partner in who was a billionaire on my moving company. Right. And we like got it really big, but I got unhappy with even that. I was like, I'm not going to have some fucking dude telling me what to do. You know what I mean? It's like, so it's like, no, I, I felt like I was, I had no control at that time. I felt like all my control in life was gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so it's like taking back that control was a journey, right? Yeah. And, and like going from that to going, Hey, aha moment. I got so many leads here. I'm making money selling these leads to my neighbor. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need to move boxes anymore. I don't even need to be in this company. Let me fucking sell it to this guy. Get the fuck out of here and go do something else. Yep. And it's like the second that those light bulbs, those switches started turning in my mind, possibility started to be created. And so it's like, it's in that darkness, in that pain, in that freaking insecurities, right? All of that, 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 possibility started to show up that led me on this path. And I'm so fucking grateful for him today. But that day when I look back on it was probably some of the worst moments of my life. Some of the like times in life to where you just like, you don't feel like moving on. You don't feel like moving forward. Yeah. You don't feel like anything's possible anymore. Yeah. And some people get there, right? Some yeah. people probably joined because of that, they were sitting in, they working a nine to five every fucking day, hitting their career, thinking they're getting head, living paycheck to paycheck. They're at their bottom and they're like, fuck it. I need something different. Yep. And I'm just telling you, it's like, yes, this is something different, but this is a fucking journey. And if you, if you stay on the path, stay on the journey, stay putting in the work, yep. then you'll look back like me 10 years later and go, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> 